Hi all, welcome to another Chess 24 Banter Blitz. It's approaching 11.30 a.m. UK time. Let's have a look at uh, the discount code screen first. Just waiting for my preview. So on the discount code King's Crusher, you can get a whopping 15% off. Get to play the likes of Magnus Carlsen, world champion, and other famous players, celebrities, uh, so grandmasters, and uh, a range of other perks as well for premium membership. Uh, so well worth checking that out. To challenge, say, Magnus Carlsen, you turn up perhaps a little bit more than 30 minutes beforehand, but try and get your challenge on the list, and then he could select you, could be one of the lucky ones <laughs> to play the world champion. So that's one of the most lucrative uh, games to sort of, uh, you know, one of the most lucrative reasons, yeah, to play the world champion, every chess player's dream. So anyway, uh, let's go on to uh, the playing screen and the challenges today. Kaz, who had a near miss last week, I'm hoping not to do anything too controversial this time. That was a struggle last week. Epic. <laughs> uh, he obviously had a winning position, so I've got to be extremely careful. I think. Okay, let's try um, try King's Engine again this time. Can I do something less controversial? Let me uh, fin chat over here. Okay, so um, h5, h4 was a plan from last time. I'm wondering here to take on d4. So I've got some pressure on e4. Okay, slightly different setup. Well, very different setup. If I played a5 for knight c5 just for a moment, I think the controversy from last time stemmed from opening up my king uh, quite a lot. I think the h-pawn is probably providing theoretical, uh, you know, solidity for my king at the moment. Uh, so it's tempting to kick the knight, but if it's, it's kind of weakening my king side, I guess. Uh, it's just got to be factored in. I'm tempted to do something like that here. Or Queen E7. Maybe Queen E7 for a moment. Waiting. I guess Knight D5 is handy. Okay, if I just get ready for Bishop H6. Well, it does seem to have a nice position. Okay, if I take it here. F5 seems plausible in this position. Or is it? That's still weakening my king. Uh, H5, H4 again. Queen D7. Queen E5. Maybe Queen E5 for Queen C3. Oh, God, I'm thinking that might be interesting. Okay, this endgame scenario might not be that bad. A4, there's B4. Um, okay, if I build up on... Uh, the e file for f5 later. I'm hoping that's something. I guess there's always bishop b5 to kick my rook on e8. If I 
H5 here. H5 here. So bishop b5, okay, h5, h3, I'm not sure. Or bishop a6, uh, or king g7, maybe king g7 for a moment. So yes, stopping rookie eight. Um, I think my knight's all right on c five. Okay. Um, yeah, if I do this. Maybe bishop a6 is, is handy uh, with the idea that... Um, well, bishop c6, I've got d3 protection. Okay, so I'm hoping this is um, reasonable. If I could double rooks and play f5, I think that would make sense. So a common square to hit f5. Okay. Well, have I just weakened h4, I wonder? Oh, there's always knight d3 check winning the rook. Okay, this rook is currently tied to d3. I think that's a weakness of the last move. I can just take that and return back. If I take on e4, or rook takes e4. I think we just knight takes and then knight c5 again. Hmm. Well, there is rook h4. It's not over. If I could double the rooks, uh, yeah. like D three to E five. I'm going to G5 and Knight F4. All right, back here then. I really want to get time to double the rooks. That's not happening then. Hmm. Okay. Rook h5 is that move? Knight d4 to e6 is probably dangerous. Okay, yeah, hitting d5. Okay, Not left with much. <clears throat> my king cross. G 
G4. No, I'm still struggling here. Maybe King E5 is an idea. Start pre-moving soon. King E5, D5, to try and drag these pawns up. Well played, well played. Uh, that was pretty tough until deep in. Okay. Don Williams. Okay. Hi hey there. So, another dangerous character. I'm sure Don's beat him in the past. Another dangerous character. <laughs> uh. Okay, tangoing. The, the the cat assassin, huh? Cat ninja. Quite happy with this start of the game. I have my nice dance square bishop for the moment. I don't mind the double pawns necessarily. I don't want to fix f4 as an issue if I took that kind of. Yeah, okay. Try and discourage b4. And again, now this a4 pawn. I mean, if the bishop's used, e4 is weaker. Bishop b5, bishop d7, bishop d7 anyway. Here, I think, because of queen c8 and bishop h3 idea. If king h2, h5 for knight g4. So I'm, I'm trying to maybe hack on h3 here. Maybe King F8 first. If Bishop B5, yeah, that's a pain. It's going to pin my Bishop, so I'm hoping to get a battery. But that's not happening, is it? Oh, well. He's not going to allow Bishop H3, right? Okay, so I want to play something like knight h5. Um, maybe that's not possible because of knight takes e5. Actually, I've just realized something. If my rook was on e8, then there'd be rook takes e5 protecting here. f4, maybe knight g3. So maybe this idea, rook e8, knight h5. Aha. Uh -huh. I kick that for a moment just to stop uh, ideas of f4. So I think I've got an idea of knight h5. If knight e5, rook e5. All right, it's happening here anyway. a4 is not dropping off just yet. Can I get into this f4 square? Okay, 
getting into that. That's uh, something. H5, rook H6 or something. H4, rook H5 to G5. There's always a, there's a knight G4 to factor in. I'll take like that. A knight g4. If I played h5, h4, there's knight g4. Unless uh, rook h5 to g5, there's always f3. I'll play this anyway, this this for the moment. Rook h6. Uh, hang on. Knight h4 for rook g6. That might be the way to play it. Knight h4 for rook g6. Oh, rook h6 to g6. Okay, rook h6 first here. I guess... Oh, I guess it wants the queens off. Okay, so knight h4 for rook g6, I hope. I thought I could play, um, well, maybe, maybe this to start off with. There's Queen H three, isn't there? Yeah, I, I might have had Queen H three. Well, this looks pretty devastating because there's Knight E two check. Right, so I can take. Maybe oh, it's not that those thing. I have to go back with knight g6 or knight f3. Maybe knight f3 to start off with. Okay. Check G six. Uh, I think Queen E two to E. If he leaves E two, Queen E two, Queen E four. Right, so Queen E two, Queen E four. King G seven, Queen C seven. Alright, a bit tricky. How about rookie seven to stop queen d seven? We'll do rookie seven for a moment. Oh, it's getting dangerous. I can win a pawn now, queen. Check. Win a pawn. Try and weave my way back. Right, how do I to weave my way back? Six is going to be handy. Um, Queen H eight's the threat. F6, check, King F5, is it too dangerous? Take a risk. Queen 
Oh, oh my, my queen, my queen was hanging anyway. Whoops, <laughs> whoops. Okay, okay. Maybe, maybe a bit too much, a bit too much of a risk. <clears throat> Oh, yeah. Okay, I think I took a little bit too much of a risk. My queen hanging. Okay. Uh yeah. My queen. My queen was actually at, at, attacked. Uh oh. Let's let's have a look at that. My queen was. Oh. Black is winning. With what though? I wonder what the solution is. I ah uh, G five. No, it does mention King F six. It did mention King F six. Just not here. Just leaving the queen hanging. Uh, if I played uh, Queen E three, King F six, as intended, <laughs> without leaving the queen hanging. Hanging. If there's a check, uh, yeah. Oh, hang on. It looks like there's perpetual check. Is there? Oh, and there's this. Whoops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, that was that was um, okay. Interesting. Uh, yes. Okay. Talk with Dita. If I play G four, where is that D five? I'll try G four. Well, then my king's in the center. This could be a bit dodgy. D five. Might be uh, scary. Okay, that's not so much. Let's take that. G ninety four. If I castle, it's ninety three. And Bishop G five. Um. Or if I castle here, Bishop F three, Rook F one, no, Bishop E four, ninety four, ninety four. Okay, this is interesting stuff. Probably. Would, okay. What if I just say and castle King? Side if I castle king side, it's not immediately losing the queen. Although there's knight c2 after. Okay, here. What about bishop f4, bishop h4, bishop g3, or king moves? Bishop f4 here. If the king moves. Or bishop g3, king moves knight f2. That might help me with rook g1. Okay, so I'll play king f1. One of those queen f6. Maybe bishop g3 is um is better. Although there is bishop g5. I guess this could get nasty. Bishop g5 and knight e3. Oh. Is that? I wonder if there's Bishop D3 there on Knight E3. Bishop D3. Just to hold C2. Um, 
that might be worth trying to hold C2. Oh. Okay, so knight takes D5 here. Thanks. I think casting would be nice. So King G2 or King H1, maybe King H1. Maybe Rook F5. Rook F5. Or Rook, Rook F3 here. Yeah. that phone stops <laughs> oh, I was gonna have to get up in a minute oh please go away oh boy <clears throat> sorry about this not going away is it <laughs> oh dear oh. torture <laughs> okay um uh. <laughs> sorry try and reinforce the bishop uh. oh there was queen g6 i just realized pin pawn there's Queen G6 had to simplify. <sighs> okay, so Knight D4 to F5. So knight f5, we're taking that. Can I, if I just take that for a moment. then let's hold this just in case I'm trying to avoid a stalemate Helen the possibility of stalemate has gone up hasn't it um uh, 
Okay. Yeah. I think there's rookies seven anyway. All right. Thanks for the game. There. Excellent. Ah, uh, there's the game. Mercan. Okay. This, I'll play the Nigel Short Short Bishop variation to E2 here rather than D3. There's a classic Nimzovich against Capablanca game, which Nimzovich sort of said Capablanca played his own system against them because when that bishop gets traded off in theory in general, white is kind of loose on the light squares. But this might be the way to do it. And quite often here, I've seen plans restricting uh, the queen side with like c3, b4, a4, a5. The kind of queen side restriction. I wonder if that's going to allow. Uh, H3 actually is tempting for G4 here. I don't know if that's... Maybe, maybe I should start with H3. It looks very tempting. B4 doesn't look so tempting right here. I don't know. A5? Do I play B5? Maybe I should start with A4 if I'm going to do that. A4, A5, B4. Not B4 straight off the bat. Anyway, it seems as though this is now about the bishop for a moment. Can I win a pawn? Oh, they're probably has there a tactic? I don't know if there's a tactic on the the pinned pawn. Is that rook? Is that rook a liability? The rook looks as though it's going to be a liability. Can I try and calculate something? Queen c6, bishop g2, queen e4. Can I try and win the queen there with knight e1? Would that be winning the queen? Okay, I think I'll do that anyway. Bishop g2 might be something all right maybe CD keep the pawn structure intact for a moment it's strange to have this rook on e4 am I actually threatening d5 here for d6 that could be handy. D5. Right, this pawn maybe should be looked after. Right, so knight e1. Although I think there is knight e5 now. Or is there knight e5, rook e5, and I'm hitting the queen. Maybe there isn't um, rook e5. Mm. Queen e5. I think black ends up losing a piece for two pawns. Okay, uh, it's, uh, let's play this out then. Queen e5, d e, rook d1, rook d1, knight e5, in that position there might be bishop takes piece, oh, let's take that. Alright, thanks for the game, 
I come. Okay. A three minute game, huh? A three minute game. Past the Furious. Dolph Catter. I'll try this King's Indian attack system. Actually, it's good for pre moving, this, this system of white. Well, but my opponent is super quick. So d6 is a bit vulnerable. Can I go in here? Maybe ed first, then knight d6. Bishop a6, I suppose, is, is possible to preserve the bishop. Bishop g5, f6. There might be a question mark over my knight. Being a bit stuck. I guess there's always knight b5 if needed. This would weaken those light squares, f6, if I provoked f6. So um, that's intriguing. Um, Well, I think I'll take off that. This was it's Bishop G five here, just to provoke F six. I mean, it's handy. And C three uh, could be useful. I think this is a nice position for the moment. Okay. I think H five H six the classic a classic form pawn plan is going to be dangerous bishop d2 well I can take her for queen f5 oh there's queen d1 uh, maybe king h2 I've, I'm thinking well what's that Hang on. Queen f5 for bishop e4. Anyway, I'm, I'm hitting the rook anyway, even if there was queen d1. Because uh, I'm hitting the rook and then there's queen f8 after. So I think here bishop e4 or h6. They both seem pretty strong. Either bishop e4 after the rook moves. Or h6. Um, bishop e4 might be better. Okay, so bishop e4. All right, I can take here. Yeah. There's h6, or there's queen d8. There's queen f8 here. Yeah. Yeah. All right, thanks for the game, Darth. Okay. Question Brent Bench. Okay. All right, is he around one elephant, two elephants, three elephants, four elephants, five elephants, six elephants, seven elephants, eight elephants, nine elephants. Ten elephants. I think I'll have to go on to the next challenge. <clears throat> then of
swimming pool. <laughs> okay. I'll go with this Austrian attack against the Pants. Austrian attack. All right, DC here, though. Get out this diagonal. I think Queen E1 to G3 is going to be handy. Queen E1 to G3. I would hope this is a useful maneuver generally. I guess I'm not too concerned about knight takes d3. It kind of strengthens the pawn chain. Queen h4 and f5 might also be something. Knight e4, I think I play that check. Then knight e4, I don't think that's working. Uh, there's probably queen takes g4 anyway. So let's say, oh, okay, rook takes here. It looks as though if black castles, okay, that's I think that strengthens my center. That might be desirable sometimes. Okay, it's attacking my queen. Let's go back here. And is f5 useful here? I hope it's useful. Knight. Okay, bishop c3 takes bishop b2 after. I'm not sure that greed is paying off there. And there's rook g3 here. Okay, so bishop, if bishop f6, there's f takes. That f file looks sort of dangerous. Maybe I should take her. Maybe. d4, kicking the knight. Bishop g5 just to stop castling queenside. In fact, almost it looks like knight d5 is almost tension. But rookie one gives knight d5 anyway. Rookie one looks the more logical move than a tactic at the moment. Just putting pressure on e6. King still in the center. Knight d5 coming up. All right, so knight d5 looks good for knight b6. I think knight d5. Yeah. There's also rook e6 for knight c7 if I want to win the queen. But rook f8 is going to happen, I assume, hitting my queen. I wonder... If rook f3 is... Reasonable because this actually this rook's not doing much. Okay, I'll do rook f3. Try and keep the escape squares of the king uh, contained. Uh, the f8 escape square. Now there is 
like rookie six here uh, for knight c7 oh also knight c7 as well probably it's worth calculating i think rookie six is um interesting Right, so I think just taking hmm. Hmm. Yeah, maybe it's not all that. Okay. I get get pawn up, it's not it's not all that brilliant. This is winning D four, it's not that brilliant, but okay, it's something, maybe it's something. My back row is also weak. H4. Yeah, it's a bit too much counterplay for my liking. Uh, there's bishop d4. There's checks. It's not. It's not clear, is it? Knight f6. Knight f6. Just to stop that bishop being naughty. Oh, there's checks, there's h6 after. That's not clear, is it? Um, okay. Okay. How about bishop f6 for a moment? Just to try and avoid the loss of that center pawn. This might be the way to do it. It looks as though knight f6 is a bit fragile, the whole structure with h6 coming. So imagine there's a check, king h2, bishop h6. Um, okay, bishop e5 covers that diagonal. Uh, should be okay if I take off here. Yeah, okay, just h4 is going to drop. If I play g3 for a moment, just to try and uh, not lose too many pawns. There's a check. I don't lose the deep one yet. Okay, bring the king up. Okay, I'm losing a pawn over there. Alright. Yeah, it's not that brilliant, is it? Although the knight does seem defensive, let's just do this for a moment. The knight's defensive, and uh, I think form pawn is dangerous here. Let's just stop use of g6 so easily. Oh, rook b6 is also. Let's go into this ending. Oh, I've given him a pass pawn. No, that that was dumb. Okay, he didn't go for that. There is knight e6 here. If king f8, okay, maybe not. I think form pawn of h6 might be the way to go. Or, or winning a6. And there's rook g6. Let's try and win. h6. Knight g5. There's king g4. And there's rook h7 there. I think the knight's probably overloaded. Right, thanks again. Yeah, that was. I thought my position was a bit dodgy there for a moment. Okay. So the crippled king. Hmm? Oh. Okay. Um. Try and get king's engine from this. 
Although I can try and uh, gain a tempo by not having to play. Um, okay, play like this. Oh, it's got an edge here. It's not. It's not nice. White's well, nice. Nice position. Yeah. I'm going to stop this um, just in case this bishop g5. Um, c6 might be okay, although this d6 is a liability now on that d file. Bishop e. Ah, maybe it's. Untangled me a bit. It seems as though b5, the queen there, b5 looks like. With the queen there, b5. b5 looks pretty tempting. Queen d3. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think the problem is um, B2 is a problem. B2, and then C3, and then Bishop A2. This this is a runaway pawn, isn't it? So, um, say Rook B1, C3. I've got Bishop A2 coming. Um, so bishop a2 here, for example. Uh, this idea of c2 looks very interesting. Um, possibly with rook c8 next. As long as I don't get back row mated. Or even c2 here looks good yeah I think c2 here um Okay, so yeah, it looks as though rook d8 here. Oh, there's e5. Okay, maybe. Although, uh, there looks as though there's bishop e5 there. So if rook e5, there's rook d6. If rook d8, rook d8, rook e5, there's rook d1. I don't know. Bishop f1. Let's see, there's c1 um, or bishop c4. Bishop c4. What am I talking about? No, I, th I think I think I had some, ah, might have had a point there. Okay, okay, I think there's a point there. Bishop e5 looks as though it's a shot of some sort, a tactical shot. E, let's run this through again. E5, bishop takes e5, rook takes, rook takes, rook takes, check. Bishop f1, bishop c4. That looks promising to get the light square bishop. Otherwise, taking, taking gives me rook d1. If, okay, bishop f3. Bishop b3 reinforces rook d1. Let's, okay, I'll run this through again, checking it again. Um... Well, here there's rook d1 anyway, with a big tempo, rook d1. Right. Hmm. 
Has he got a point? There's bishop b3 at minimum. Hold on. There's bishop b3 here. Huh? So e5, rook d8 with an idea of rook e1, king e1. Okay, let's, let's just do this. So it's taken and rook d1, c1. That stops rook c8 anyway. There's no back row mate at the moment. So there is rook e1 and rook d1 here. Because uh, that bishop's reinforcing after bishop d1, cd, bishop's reinforcing. Uh, so I think basically uh, that's dangerous. Although, do I need another pawn? Because I'm just wanting, uh, thinking rook takes rook d1, king e2. There's no, there's no, um, is there a c1 there? It looks as though there is a c1 there. Okay. Okay. C1 appears to be uh, okay. This looks very promising because of A5, A4. There's a wall against the king. I think G5 undermines things. Right, I was hoping for that because um, I can win a lot of pawns there. Uh, I can win a lot of pawns now. I've got an entrance to these pawns now. All right, yeah, thanks. Interesting game. Interesting game. Uh, kill cat. Okay, so killer cat, how are you doing? Killer cat. Okay. I'll do this um, Nigel Short, Short Bishop, I think. It's got some things going for it. I think I've seen an Adams game with C4 recently. Something like this. Probably not this close. Um, CD, Knight C3. Well, mm, I thought I thought D5 is weak. Bishop B7. Bishop E4. Oh, 
Oh, I think that's tricky now. Okay. F4 for F5 looks dangerous. How dangerous are there? There's knight e5. Hmm. Maybe knight e5 is uh, sufficient. b3, bishop b2, maybe? Is that an idea? That might be an idea. I, I think that's an interesting idea at first glance. To this b file pressure is slightly annoying. So bishop b2 tucks the bishop as shielded on the b file. With a prospect of um, queen h5, knight d5 later. Do I immediately go in for queen h5 just to create some dark square weakness? g6, queen h6, rook e8. I can delay it. I can do it immediately. I'll, I'll do it immediately. Just to create some dark square weaknesses. Um, so queen h6. Bishop b2. So bishop f8, queen h3. I want to arrive at rook ad1, I think. And there's bishop d5 here. e6 might be something, this diagonal. Now, 92, let's check. Um, okay, rook ad1. So bishop f6 looks logical. Is there bishop c4 here? Okay. Knight d5. Knight e2. Bishop e2. This knight e2 <coughs> for bishop b2. Maybe I could extinguish this knight e2 business. Does king h1 start off with? Probably king h1. Oh. Knight d5. Actually, g4 for g5 would be good to try and get something going there. g4 for g5. Yeah. No. Maybe not. I've weakened the diagonal. That's got some downsides. Oh, well. Um. oh if knight f5, there's knight d5. There's queen c6 pinning the knight. There's queen g2 unpinning the knight. Okay, this is support against knight e3. What's wrong with rook d7? It's queen c6. I made queen g2 first. I might have rook d7 coming up. Queen g2. There's knight h4. Queen e4. There's also queen f4 to think about. Mm. Okay.
Well, knight d d5 looks really strong here at knight d5. No, I think that's an invitation, isn't that weakness to the last move? It's neglected um, d5. Okay, thanks for the game, Killer Cat. Uh, yeah, that was getting a bit tricky. Okay, chess beauty is an emoji. Okay. One elephant, <laughs> two elephants, three elephants, four elephants, five elephants, six elephants, seven elephants, eight elephants, nine elephants, ten elephants. I think I'm going to have to abort, I'm afraid. Go on to the next challenge. Robin Nandy, is that the Joker? Picture of the Joker? It is. There's a new Joker, I think, coming out. A new film, is that the new film? Based on the new film. So this is, I'm starting to think this is like another kind of defense in a way, just the knights going from over here to over here. Dark squares being provoked instead of uh, light squares. Uh, provocation, similar to the other kind of defense. Um, how about Bishop B4 here? It looks as though I don't usually play Bishop B4. I'm hoping this is okay. Um, a sort of Nimzo engine or not. Not really. It's not really a Nims Union. No, I think. Dunno. Scares me a bit. This is a map of territory. Should I go for it? Doubling the pawns. I, I don't know. I don't know. It, it, it might be okay. C4, B6. Doesn't seem that bad. Okay, I'm thinking Bishop D seven Queen C eight. Right, so I yeah, I think White wants to use this bishop, get this bishop activated. I'm hoping to keep that bishop hemmed in. Actually I I think I have to switch to a positional plan on Queen C8, King H2, just to get Knight here I to move this and think about C5. I'm 
Oh, maybe my H6 is under scrutiny. I better protect it. It does give me now Knight H5 as a resource without any trick at the moment. So Knight H5 to F4. So queen, okay, f5, okay, maybe uh, e5 is more important. I, I'll go for e5 square. So rook e8, queen g5, no, not queen g5 now, uh, knight e5, yeah. the e5 square in general. Looks comfortable. Okay. If I do this. Yeah. Ah. Uh, Okay, I'll just carry on. Uh, knight G4, I do have Knight G4 here. How is this ending? I wonder. Uh, well, I think Rook E5 anyway. I might have some stuff. Going on H five. Maybe that was a bit silly. Can I just quickly grab this with my king? I just had a thought if I quickly grab it with my king. Uh, uh, being a bit silly here. Okay. <laughs> uh, G4. Okay, my king is not entirely safe. The two rooks versus queen scenario might be interesting. Would he really do that? Um, with the structure over here, I think I f quite fancy the two rooks. If it doesn't, I think I'm going to double them g4. Okay, let's just suppress a5. Okay, what's the real danger here? My rook is pinned, actually. So I was thinking, rook here, but he would just take it. The rook was pinned. Okay, g4. Here, around about here. G3. Can I... Oh, it's getting a bit scary. Can I unpin F6? Just the unpin, unpinning tactic kind of thing. That gives me Rook E8 without losing the entire Rook, I think. Alright, thanks. Yeah, because otherwise, if the Rook was pinned, I couldn't recapture. Alright. On. Okay. As the... In a, a 
Again, a sort of King's engine with black. Wouldn't mind. Okay, I'm a bit stuck, I don't know. It's unfamiliar. Um don't know. <clears throat> Cause without C four I just don't feel that comfortable with this position. Um What does it mean? What does it mean? Okay, so Bishop F five might be plausible though. Quick oh, Queen C eight for Bishop H three or Bishop E four. D five? I don't know. Okay. I'll 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 go with this. I'm gonna change the structure. I think A three is a sort of maybe it's a useful pawn. Okay, bishop e six here. I'm gonna get to play A three. Right, so knight g four. That looks a little bit weakening. Uh, so, okay, Queen D seven. Um, I just need 15 minutes. Ten minutes. Uh, okay. Um. Okay, so knight e5 for c6. Okay, can I do uh, this? For king h7 and bishop h6. That's true. Okay, is there bishop h6? Right, b6, is that going to be useful or not? Is that e6, something horrible like e6, like queen e6, let me say. Not yet. b6 could be handy. In fact, what? Hmm. Bishop F five here. Okay, it's not that comfortable, is it? Uh, 
Okay. Uh, mm, uh, don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe this. Uh, no, not convinced actually. <clears throat> Exchange sack. I'll go. King G seven. Oh, I'll just go with an exchange set. I don't know. I keep my pawn. I want to suppress the center. Keep the A three pawn. Five. Well, at least there's there's pressure on F seven now. Uh, so rook F seven. There's always D five. This is a real pain. D five. Is that F4? I don't know if F4 is any use. Okay. G4 is giving me a bit of pawn. Mobility. I'll take it here. Okay, my pawns are crumbling over there. G3 might be interesting. For Queen D8, Queen H4. Later. Queen D8 here. Does happen to protect B6, but it hits H4. Okay, that's interesting. Rook F4. I just didn't like the position at all. Uh, you know that exchange sack. I just felt my position was crumbling. Actually, if we go back um, here. Okay, it says white slightly better. I just don't know what to do here because I got there's pressure points on a3 and f7. Not only that, there's d5. It, white is much better. Yeah, I'm trying to offer the exchange here to sort of fix the center, but it's not very convincing. I think just taking the exchange is not convincing. Oh well. Anyway, uh, whole girl, Harry, girl. Okay. So Smith Mora Gambit. Did I need the bishop on G five? That's a question. Oh, no, I put my rooks in the wrong place. <laughs> uh I think I put my rooks in the wrong place. That should be there against the queen. Yeah, the rooks don't belong there. <laughs> come on, come on, what am I doing? 
Okay, at least I can put the bishop aligning against the queen like this as well. We're trying to align against the queen. Good things can sometimes happen on the alignments. Uh, that's a bit weaker. That's pretty committal, g5, actually. What about knight d5? That looks kind of thematic. Knight d5 here. Okay, no time for it, though. I see. Knight D two right here, uh, it looks as though Knight D five is coming in with a thematic vengeance. I I just I just need I just need five minutes five minutes uh, uh, So knight d6 coming up. If I just take that exchange for a moment. Maybe um mm. oh. Bishop F two does give me Bishop C five if H four Bishop C five It looks as though F five is pretty formatic as well. So this gives me bishop c5, the major threat. There's also, I think there's bishop a6 here for rook c6. That might actually be worth considering for bishop b5 later for taking for bishop d4. Yeah, I think Bishop B five, Bishop C six, Bishop D four. B five. Okay, I just want to try and get these um, this bishop D four business. Oh, mm. Mm. Bishop c5 looks. Oh, there's queen g5, okay. Queen d2 to stop. Queen g5. It looks like a dark square blockading thing, anyway, against f4. I mean, okay. 
against the f4 anyway. In fact, in fact, battery time bishop e3 gives common squares f4 g5 h6. Oh, I've been raving about batteries recently to uh, some of my coaches. So we get these common squares f4 g5 h6 with a battery. It gives me bishop g5 on knight g8. Okay, let's get the king. Let's, let's just do that for a moment. Okay. The pawns are pretty fixed. Are they? Maybe not. I can try and undermine with B3. And if I just want the queens off? This pawn looks dangerous. Knight d5, uh, well, there's... Knight uh, d5, I'm thinking... Well, there's only five seconds there anyway. Now, uh, okay, so rook takes c8, rook takes d3. I'm going to this f6 square. All right, thanks for the game. Um, yeah, okay. Thanks, yeah, I hope uh, you enjoyed it. One fun, ten boring. Um, it's been a bit manic here. I, I gotta go. <laughs> okay. Uh, gotta sort, sort out some stuff. Um, hope you enjoyed it, and have a good Sunday, and see you next week. Thanks very much.